Hello, we are Eddie and Gwen Clayton, and we would like to talk to you about Four Sigmatic Coffee. We tried Four Sigmatic Coffee for a week. We bought one pound of the Think Formula, that's the one with the lion's mane mushroom. It was $20 a pound, and one pound lasted the two of us one week. I am trying out this new Four Sigmatic mushroom ground coffee with lion's mane today i heard about this on the dr dre channel and i'm like oh i want to try that it's supposed to help you think better and it's dark roast which is what eddie and i drink so i thought oh i'll check it out and it's usda organic um so i'm gonna make some so first i want to smell it and see if it smells like normal coffee. It does not smell like mushrooms at all. And yes, this is what I look like first thing in the morning. Water is steaming. Just plop it in. If you haven't seen my video on how we make stovetop cowboy coffee, I will link it below. Okay, so now the coffee is starting to boil. You can see it rising up like that. And now the trick is to keep an eye on how high it rises. And if it starts to come to the top, make sure you have your, um, what's this thing called? It's a kitchen towel or some other um, hot pad to lift it up in case you need to remove it from the heat. See where the coffee sticks to the can so I just take my little a thin spatula I have other spatulas but they're too thick I'm gonna take a thin one and scrape down the edges four minutes on the clock I've got to swirl my half and half while I heat it on the stove in this little pan I've got this pan in Amador City California it's really cute while the coffee is boiling, I am going to put honey in Eddie's coffee. We just discovered this Be Great Local Raw Honey. Um, this is our first time using it. I'm going to open it today and see how it goes. We try to get local honey because it's good for your immune system. And that's why he puts it in his coffee and his tea. And I just like raw sugar. So I use raw organic sugar in my coffee. I'm going to pour some cold water into the top that makes all of the grinds fall to the bottom and then I'm also going to pour some into the spout to clear out anything out of the spout and then I'm going to take this handy dandy little coffee filter and pour it through there leaving some room for Eddie likes to put milk in his coffee and then I'm going to set it down well, I steal this and put it into my cup and then do the same with my cup. And then I add my half and half for me and coffee for him and that is your stovetop cowboy coffee. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes like coffee. It's not as good as our Pete's French Roast, which we normally drink, but it's drinkable. It's it's totally enjoyable. Uh, it's This is 20 bucks a pound, so it really better work with the think factor, but we'll see. I will keep you posted. It is a sad day in the Clayton house this morning. I am using the very last of my Four Sigmatic Mushroom Ground Coffee with Lion's Mane, also known as Think. I'm using the very last of our first bag, and it's going into my 
stovetop campfire coffee maker. When Eddie gets home from work today, we're going to compare notes and see if this stuff actually did help us think at all. Or if this was all just a big propaganda device. So, Eddie, tell me, what did you think about the flavor of the mushroom coffee? Did it taste like mushrooms? It did not taste like mushrooms at all. In fact, I really couldn't even tell the difference between drinking the Pete's coffee or the Sidematic coffee. Because it was a dark roast. Now, do you like dark roast coffee? I do like dark roast coffees. Okay. And, um... Did you feel any difference? Like, did you notice at work? Were you able to think more clearly? Have less brain fog? Any kind of mental acumen improvement? I'm not really sure because I wasn't analyzing or paying attention to see if it was better. But, um, you know, you really don't even know that there's mushrooms in there when you drink it. Um, but I, I don't know. I didn't really. You weren't thinking about it. No, I wasn't paying attention to it. I noticed that I had trouble sleeping. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but that one week, it's like I only had one cup of coffee and yet I had trouble in, in the morning. And then at night I would wake up frequently and have trouble falling asleep. So I did notice that. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the flavor a lot. It has a very nice dark roast, smooth flavor profile. I didn't taste any mushroom. Uh, but I do think that I, I got a lot done that week, a lot more than usual. So I did notice a little more clarity and less brain fog. Mm -hmm. So I would buy it again. My only hesitation is that it was twenty dollars a pound you can get it for eighteen ninety nine at the fort wayne co-op i think it's called three rivers co-op but whatever it is so um but for eighteen ninety nine i'm not really sure it was worth it but i'd be willing to try it again what about you eddie would you be willing to try it again i, I agree i would drink it again it had a good flavor and um if you like coffee then if you like dark roast coffees then I think that you would like this coffee. I would try it sometime when either one of us are really struggling with brain fog, which both of us do. Uh, I'm a, a cancer survivor, so I have a lot of chemo brain fog. And to be honest with you, I had brain fog before the chemo. And Eddie's a disabled veteran, so he struggles with brain fog too frequently. So I think next time when we're having obvious brain fog issues, I would run down to the co-op and buy another pound and and see if that helps. But um, we really weren't paying close attention this week. So but we'll try it again. I'm Gwen Elise Clayton, and you've been watching the River Vine YouTube channel. If you like what you've watched, please like, share, and subscribe, and support me on Patreon. Just visit patreon.com slash rivervine. And if you'd like to read my books, you can find both from out of sellers and Zinfandel's Grimoire on Amazon. Have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday.